electrogravitics and gyroscopic principles, investigating mystic science and basic overview, understanding the conscious spectrum connection, spectrum, a band of colors as seen in a rainbow produced by separation of the components of light by the different degrees of refraction according to wavelength used to classify something or suggest that it is to be classified in terms of position on the scale between two extremes or opposites. Understanding a scale between two extreme or opposite points. Electricity, gravity, magnetism are all the same, just transformed at different points of reference. It's one big picture here and now. As we can see, vibration, sound, create heat, and combustive material with gas creates a reaction or product or pro production. Um, basically nothing's created nor destroyed, just transformed. Just like there are different states of matter, a basic example is water. As a frequency becomes higher, the state of the matter changes from a vapor to a solid. Or the inverse is also true. As a frequency becomes lower, the state of matter changes from a solid to a vapor. That is the absence of heat that drives the frequency up. Transformation of pure energy. By changing a energy's frequency, one is changing its ability in the manner that it does work. Energy is the ability to do work. Nothing is created nor destroyed. It is the frequency that changes the energy level. This can be seen in the colors produced in the spectrum or the state that the atom is in in the matter. Gyroscopes. Look and see how this gyroscope appears to be weightless or losing weight, defying gravity, because it is. The faster the RPMs are on the gyroscope, the more weight it loses. Point being, as a retention of kinetic energy, also known as strange behavior, is different in materials when energy is put in or taken out. The more mass an object has, the more ability it has to store energy. Gyroscopes and magnetic propulsion. Let's make the connection. Just like a maglev train can levitate due to the properties of aluminum, aluminum mirrors or reflects the magnetic poles, causing a levitation effect, making it possible for the train to be thrust down the track of alternating magnetic fields. The OTC X1 engine uses aluminum for thrust and braking. The capacitors give thrust and collect power for the high voltage discharge, while the utron breaks or slows down the system by changing the current flow. They both interact with the electromagnetic field. The central accumulator or lead zinc battery accumulates and discharges electricity. It's basically a gyroscopic battery that produces high voltage that creates an ionized shield giving it thrust under a gravitational wave. The change always moves in the positive direction. As we can see in this diagram, there are alternating U-shaped aluminum capacitor plates, um, alternating with the U-tron that is filled with electrolyte. These passes through a C-shaped coil of magnetic field as the central accumulator spins under its own mass. As we can see here, here is a better picture of this wheel within a wheel. Um, it discharges from the top high voltage through a coil um, that produces ionized anti-gravity wave lift um, when it's become, you know, to, I don't want to say zero point, but massless or uh, not that much weight. Here's OTC car 1958. I'm not trying to prove or disprove anything. Um, I just know what I've seen. All right, here's the TR3B or Black Mantis, um, the new school system. I believe it uses mercury and basically upgraded. 
still uses the same principles, but uh, it's just upgraded. All in one, it's electricity in different states. Basically, everything can be converted. Um, electricity to magnetism to gravity to light. Um, it's all the same, it's just at a different frequency in a different state. Um, you can say that about other things. What is electrogravitics? Um, you can stop and read this if you want, but I'll just give a basic summary. Um, it's high voltage um, with a positive and negative. It always goes to the positive. Um, it creates ion wind or a, anti or a gravitational wave. Um, you want to look up T. Townsend Brown and Otis T. Carr. Alright, here's a few pictures of some lifter models using electrogravitics. Um, on the left, you can see it levitating. On the right, you can see the corona, um, and that will change colors due to the energy density or the frequency. Here's some prints showing the charge, um, creating ion, wind, or gravity waves. Time distortions. The faster you go, time slows down relative to Earth's time, so things are moving much slower. If you are inside the field and watching Earth at a high speed, for example, if you were to leave on a craft for seven days, only ten hours would have passed here on Earth. It's focusing square. It's focusing space around itself. Um, so if I was to leave now, uh, I'd be back in ten hours. It would seem like seven days. Here's another picture. TR3B stood right under this craft, right under it, in in the field. Time slowed down. Everything was slow other picture here. Electrogravitics and gyroscopic principles. Deconstruction of the OTCX1. Breakdown of the OTCX1 in three major components. Aluminum hull, engine slash power, pressurized cap. Aluminum hull. The aluminum hull or body is built just like an aluminum boat in that it uses I-beam construction, welding, and rivets. The best deduction of this outer hull is that it is comprised of sheets of aluminum that have been form-fitted, or that it is melted, cast, and milled. One other possibility. Aluminum hull. There are two cone-like shaped structures that join together that complete um, the rhombus shaped um, foil craft. Um, the top is a positive charge while the bottom contains a negative charge. The central accumulator or battery is in the center um, while the positive comes off the battery into the U-shaped capacitor that splits. Um, on, the, on the back side of the U-shaped capacitor there is a brush or a sliding contact. Um, this all passes through the C-shaped electromagnetic field. Um, uh, the U-tron also passes through this same field. It spins like a fan. Um, the U-tron is filled with electrolyte. Um, the aluminum parts are for, for power distribution, thrust, lift, braking, and charge. Um, the center pool uh, rises up out of the top and uses some type of transformer. Uh, it's in 
uh, a flyback transformer. I mean, you should see my high arcs. Um, and the cabin is pressurized. Um, there's also a separate battery that uh, runs the electromagnet. Um, that's about all. Here's uh, some better diagrams, blueprints. 